2016 brought us some really interesting horror movies. 2017 is bringing us a lot of sequels. What's up everybody, I'm Kojak, this is Tech, and like we said earlier, we're gonna be talking about the horror movies that are coming out in 2017 in no particular order. The first one is gonna be Saw Legacy, which is coming out uh, October 27th. No plot yet. Funny thing is that Saw 3D was supposed to be the last Saw. As I, a two-part. I, I, well, it was supposed to be a two-part, right. but Saw, uh, <laughs> Saw 6 was so crappy, <laughs> it just failed. Well, and how so, long can you take a franchise? Right. You know? I don't know. I mean, I mean, look at Land Before Time. I guess you know, it's like yeah, you can have forty of them. Yeah, Land Before but. Time. Thirty nine was my favorite. They decided that they were going to make Saw three D into a one part instead of a two part, like they were planning. Yeah, it was like the final chapter. Gotcha. They were like, this is definitely over, yeah. and clearly it's not because Saw Legacy is going to come out in two thousand seventeen. Yeah. And uh, with the the, uh, the people who directed uh, Predestination, uh, this uh, how do you pronounce it? The Spirit Brothers, mm -hmm. and then the people who made Piranha Three <laughs> D series, which is kind of awesome. I kind of hope that's how they're. Gonna, I hope they're going to take it a Sharknado direction. But, well, what they said is that they said that they're <laughs> taking it a complete direction, a new direction. They're going to revitalize the franchise. They're planning on like bringing it anew, so they can do another six. Yeah. So, <laughs> but I'm sure all of the crazy torture porn will be there. Next we have Insidious Chapter 4. Insidious is a kind of a, it's kind of become a huge phenomenon when it comes to the horror thing, which yeah. is pretty cool, especially because of what it deals with, the whole astral projection, demon possession, weirdness, Which is something I find fat. I love yeah. the supernatural kind of thing. I mean, yeah. like, I just, I love Constantine, I love Supernatural for the 12 billion series seasons that sure, it's had and Sure, and you loved uh, this, the, the Ouija movie that yeah, had come that out was in good. 2016. Yeah. The cool thing is the first two movies kind of, you know, were where they were, then uh -huh. the third movie ended up being a prequel, and right. then the fourth movie is pretty much gonna fill in the gaps between the prequel and the first movie. Mm -hmm. And it has Elise, who's, you know, the main character of these it's series. Basically rediscovered yeah. herself. But she's, she's, she's gonna, she, she went off and found herself. But she's doing, <laughs> apparently they're gonna make her have like kind of superhero qualities. Huh. And she's using her gifts in like a superhero kind of way. So that's gonna be really interesting and fun to see. Marvel meets horror. Astral projection <laughs> superhero. So Astro Girl? Astro Girl, oh. I like that. So next in line we have Rings, which is coming out February 3rd. This has been a while in the making. It kept getting, it's been pushed back, what, three times? It's, it's been, been pushed, pushed back, back 18 months. Yeah. The last time I checked. Yeah. And it's this is coming in 13 years after the first two films. And um, you gotta wonder, it's like, yeah. you know, there's no, there's no, video cassette tapes right. anymore, so how are they gonna do or this thing? Or corded phones. Or corded phones, <laughs> yeah. Um, but basically this girl watches the tape. How? Uh, probably on YouTube, I don't know, but she watches the tape somehow, and she discovers something that no one had noticed. There's a movie within the movie, so it's the Whoa, Inception it's of Ringception. Rings. It's, it's Ringception. Ring so. <laughs> Uh, which actually could be cool because yeah. maybe that movie is going to be screwed up. Maybe that one kills you quicker. Maybe right. instead of seven days, it's like yeah. you only have three days. <laughs> it's like no. Um, I'm actually excited to see this yeah. because the first, the first ring, ring was great. Was so good. The second ring was decent. It was okay. But if they can, if they can turn it around, and if they're pushing it back this much, and they're trying to get it right, right. maybe they're gonna make it just it's really good again. Annabelle 2 is coming out. Yes, they made a sequel. Yes, there will be a creepy doll. And yes, that makes a horror movie. That's all you need. <laughs> That's all you need. It could just be an hour and a half of this creepy doll and weird noises just in a one shot. No. <laughs> and this is David Sandberg's second uh, full-length feature right. film, because he just did Lights, Lights Out. out. Which, um, meh. But the thing that makes me most excited about this, I mean, it's a very simple story. A doll, a doll maker and his wife, they take in yeah. a nun and a group of orphan girls, and then creepy, horrible things happen because of the doll. Um, of course. But the thing that gets me the most excited, for sure, is Lulu Wilson from Ouija yes. Origin of e Evil. She was fantastic. She was great in that. She was creepy. She's like, she acts. It's not very often you can get someone so young to be able to like have that kind of acting chops already in existence. She's so good. Yeah. And so that's the biggest thing that's exciting right. about this because you can only do so much with a premise. You can only do so much with a creepy doll or something right. like that. But, but you having have a, to have the actors. Having a little girl being creepy mm -hmm. is everybody's trying to do yeah. that. For me, like 
creepy children and creepy dolls are like, they they destroy me. They, that's why they I don't want me. kids. So Amityville Awakening is another one coming out and that's gonna be January 6th. This was the 18th Amityville movie. Right, well, what did you think of the uh, Ryan Reynolds one? Uh, I, it was good. Well, there I was liked, obviously one, there was ones before that. Yeah, I like the Amityville franchise. I think, yeah. it's, I think it's fun and I think it's cool. It's all based around this creepy house. Like yeah. I, I, I'm, That I'm, actually I'm, exists. That actually exists. Who like, would move in? People live there. So you have uh, Bella Thorne, Play, mm -hmm. Playing Belle. Belle, you know that it's was like Will that was Smith clever. playing Will. Will, yeah, exactly. <laughs> she, she, had, uh, her twin yeah. is in a coma, and her little sister and her mother, mm -hmm. uh, they all move into this house, which obviously is the Amityville house to right. help pay for her brother's health care. If you've seen the trailer, and this isn't a spoiler for the movie because it's in the trailer, but right. watch it. The kid who's in a coma wakes up and it's creepy as hell. Well, and apparently um, test audiences gave it such good reviews already. So there was like, they decided we don't need to make any more changes. So they pushed it up to the January 6th date, which was what, uh, a year yeah. sooner. Cause this was supposed to come out in 2000, almost 2018. It looks like yeah. it's gonna kind of revitalize the franchise too, because the franchise has been hurting a little bit, but they yeah. keep pumping them out. You right. know, they don't care. They're like, we're <laughs> just gonna keep putting these things out about a scary house and you're just gonna, we're just gonna shove it in your mouth <laughs> So you enjoy it. <laughs> and then your favorite. Right, right. I'm really excited about this. Friday the 13th is coming out. No, it's not a remake. It's the 13th Friday the 13th. And so it's called Friday the 13th. So tell me how you really feel. It's great. <laughs> There's nothing more that I love than a man in a mask. <laughs> Breck Eisner, the director of yeah. Last Witch Hunter and Witch. the Crazies is directing this. Now, here's so, the thing. Last I, Witch Hunter. Last Witch Hunter was kind of rough. Was kind of rough. It but, had a good theory. Yeah, but the Crazies is really good. And the last witch hunter wasn't a horror, and the crazy was. Right. So and the cool thing this time is they're trying to explain why Jason Voorhees can't seem to die for some reason. Yeah, so which really needs to be explained. That would be awesome. If they could also work in why he's able to constantly catch up to you while walking slowly. I would really like that to happen. Vsauce needs to do a video on that. Yeah. What Get on it. Yeah. <laughs> what needs to happen is, is Usain Bolt needs to show up in the movie and we <laughs> need to see if he can get away from Jason. The faster you run, the quicker he catches up. Oh, brilliant. Physics. So the end all be all of movies, Death House is coming out in 2017, finally. Speaking of Jason. <laughs> Speaking of everybody. Everyone. Everyone. The is guy who plays this. Jason is in this movie. <laughs> The founder of well, Trauma Films is yeah. in this movie. Yeah, there's only one person that isn't in this as him, his original horror self because he passed away. But, but he wrote it. But he wrote it. Yeah. So he wrote it before he passed away. Yeah. Gunnar Hansen, the yeah. original Leatherface, wrote yeah. a horror movie that has a ton <laughs> of horror actors in it, and right. this thing is gonna be awesome. Basically, it's about a cra or these, this crazy prison that's housing all sorts of crazy, supernatural, bad people and everything, and then there's a power outage, and everybody basically gets loose in a group of guards, and whoever is there has to well, make it down to the depths. Who knows who's gonna show up in this movie, right. because if you look at the cast, it's everyone. It's everyone. The question I have is, according to the trailer, it has a very B-movie feel to it, so I'm wondering if they're gonna like run with just the horror B-movie thing for it and just have fun with it or if they're I, gonna I hope do they go something. fun. I hope they go super fun. I, yeah. I, this, I mean that seems the way to go. We have enough Ouija's yeah. and this is everything. the expendables of, of horror. horror. And I think that they should just throw Chuck Norris in there for the hell of it. But see then the movie would be instantly over because he'd just kick everyone. <laughs> Well, he just roundhouse kicks the prison. Yeah. Up next is Get Out. This is an interesting one. Uh, if you haven't seen the trailer yet, we highly suggest that you do actually see the trailer. It's made by Jordan Peele. Yeah. Who, of Key and Peele. He decided he wanted to make a horror flick. And it doesn't come across as funny. It does not come across as funny <laughs> as at all. Uh, and when yeah. we wa when we watched the trailer, we we're like, this is kind of like the, Spef uh, the the Stepford Wives, right. and it is, and the, he, basically the he Stepford said he was inspired by it yeah. to make it. And so you have um, this interracial couple, a white girl and a black dude, and yeah. they uh, they are going to meet her parents. And he realizes that all of the uh, all of the black people in the town are kind of like zombie slave like. Yeah. It's similar to what happens Whoa. in the Stepford Wives. Stepford Wives, it had this interesting take on like the roles of women. Yeah. Like the gender role thing. So now like, this how is he gonna twist that? Well now this him? is now this is a racial role thing. Right. Is that where he's gonna take it? Or I is that just where he got his 
as inspiration for kind of like the thing I and that's how he used it? I don't know, but it's it's an interesting twist to take on the whole Look, thing. Look, he's, he's a great, they're both great writers. They know how to definitely envision stuff and put it on the screen. So it's be very interesting to see how he does with a horror movie in that case. It, that's the movie. That's the name of the movie. They're remaking it. It's coming out September 8th. Mm. I, I am worried about it. Um, I'm, I'm scared. They cast it well. Definitely cast it well. Yeah. No question. I mean, how much or how much are they trying to honor the original? Or are they gonna get like a director that's trying to do Iron Man three and doing his take on it? <laughs> For anyone who doesn't know what it is, it's basically seven children who are like known as the Losers Club. They they yeah. end up facing you know bullies and all this stuff, and then there's a monster in the shape of a clown that's like just stalking these kids. Right. So, and his name's Pennywise. Originally it was Tim Curry, if you did not know that as right. well. Um, and it's based on a Stephen King novel and the movie it's, is just brilliant and creepy and strange. It does exactly what you would expect the old school Stephen King style no. movie to do in that case. It's just whether or not they're gonna be able to take that and put those, it into the new one. But those screenshots of, of Pennywise, of what they look like, man, he looks like a creepy, scary clown. It looks like it's gonna go really dark and really yeah. twisted, and I hope they do it right, and I think mm -hmm. they might do it right. Come on, Bill Skarsgård. Yeah. You can be Pennywise. You can be Pennywise. Not the band. Actually, I'd go see it if Pennywise did the whole soundtrack. That'd be badass. And finally, we have the Bye Bye Man. Uh, when we saw this trailer, I got really excited. I don't know if you did, but... It it looks, looks messed up. It looks messed up. It looks really <laughs> cool. Yeah. Uh, it's directed by Stacy Title, funniest thing in the world, because she directed Snoop Dogg's Hood of Horror. <laughs> if you've never seen that, you know, you're a lot of people. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it looks horrifying. Yeah, it's about a supernatural creature who may or may not be responsible for possessing people throughout the years and causing them to basically become uh, serial killers. The trailer definitely um, catered to making you kind of freak out in yeah. that sense. And it's uh, following three college students who are being hunted, hunted. by yeah. this thing. Whether or not it's from the house they say that, or that they're in, or, or if it's just like following them for something, maybe, like Final maybe, Destination kind of thing, or whatever. Maybe it thinks they're really that's a horrible. Maybe it thinks they're really cute. You know, <laughs> maybe they're skinny YouTubers with British accents. Anyway, this looks fantastic. Yeah. It looks like a lot of fun. It's been a long time in the making. The trailer's been out for a while, and we just want to see it. Put it in front of our faces. So we'd love to hear what you horror buffs think about the movies that are coming out in 2017, or if there's one that we missed that you think is going to be the best horror movie. Yeah. Leave it down in the comments. We'd love to hear what you have to say I'm Kojak and this is Tech right here and uh, this is screen time welcome to here you should subscribe if you would like to we're also boss level 8 we have a little channel called boss level 8 and if you want to go say hi to us over there you are more than welcome to and until we see you next time goodbye this chapter 4 insidious is a kind of a it's kind of become a huge phenomenon when it comes to the horror thing, which yeah. is pretty cool, especially because of what it deals with, the whole astral projection, demon possession, weirdness Which or is something I find fat. I love yeah. the supernatural kind of thing. I mean, yeah. like, I just, I love Constantine. I love Supernatural for the 12 billion series, seasons that sure, it's had and Sure, and you loved uh, this, the, the Ouija movie that yeah. had come that out was in good. 2016. Yeah. The cool thing is the first two movies kind of, you know, were where they were, then uh, the third movie ended up being a prequel, and right. then the fourth movie is pretty much gonna fill in the gaps between the prequel and the first movie. Mm -hmm. And it has Elise, who's, you know, the main character of these it's series. Basically rediscovered yeah. herself. But she's, she's, she's gonna, she, she went off the tape somehow, and she discovers something that no one had noticed. There's a movie within the movie. So it's the Whoa, inception it's of Ringception. Rings. It's, it's Ringception. Ring <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, which actually could be cool because yeah. maybe that movie is going to be screwed up. Maybe that one kills you quicker. Maybe right. instead of seven days, it's like yeah. you only have three days. <laughs> it's like no. Um, I'm actually excited to th see this yeah. because the first, the first ring, ring was great. Was so good. The second ring was decent. It was okay. But if they can, if they can turn it around, and if they're pushing it back this much, and they're trying to get it right, right. maybe they're gonna make it just it's really good again. Annabelle 2 is coming out. Yes, they made a sequel. Yes, there will be a creepy doll. And yes, that makes a horror movie. That's all. <laughs> 39 was my favorite. They decided that they were going to make 
Saw 3D into a one part instead of a two part like they were planning. Yeah. It was like the final chapter. Gotcha. They were like, this is definitely over. Yeah. And clearly it's not, because Saw Legacy is gonna come out in 2017. Yeah. And uh, with the, the, uh, the people who directed uh, Predestination, uh, this, uh, how do you pronounce it? The Spirit Brothers. Mm -hmm. And then the people who made Piranha <laughs> 3D series, which is kind of awesome. I kind of hope that's how they're gonna, I hope they're gonna take it a Sharknado direction. But, well, what they said is that they said that they're. <laughs> taking it a complete direction, a new direction. They're going to revitalize the franchise. They're planning on like bringing it anew. So they can do another six. Yeah, so, <laughs> but I'm sure all of the crazy torture porn will be there. Next we have Insidious. 2016 brought us some really interesting horror movies. 2017 is bringing us a lot of sequels. What's up everybody, I'm Kojak, this is Tech, and like we said earlier, we're gonna be talking about the horror movies that are coming out in 2017 in no particular order. And the first one is gonna be Saw Legacy, which is coming out uh, October 27th. No plot yet. Funny thing is that Saw 3D was supposed to be the last Saw. As I, a two part. I, I, well, it was supposed to be a two part, right. but Saw, uh, <laughs> Saw 6 was so crappy, <laughs> it just failed. Well, and how so, long can you take a franchise? Right, you know? I don't know, I mean. I mean, look at Land Before Time, I guess. You know, it's like, yeah, you can have 40 of them. Yeah, Land Before Time. And then found herself. But she's doing, <laughs> apparently they're gonna make her have like, kind of superhero qualities. Huh. And she's using her gifts in like a superhero kind of way. So that's gonna be really interesting and fun to see. Marvel meets horror. Astral projection <laughs> superhero. So Astro Girl? Astro Girl, oh. I like that. So next in line we have Rings, which is coming out February 3rd. This has been a while in the making. It kept getting, it's been pushed back, what, three times? It's, it's been, been pushed, pushed back, back 18 months. Yeah. The last time I checked. Yeah. And it's this is coming in 13 years after the first two films. And you gotta wonder, it's like, yeah. you know, there's no, there's no, video cassette tapes right. anymore, so how are they gonna do or this thing? Or corded phones. Or corded phones, <laughs> yeah. Um, but basically this girl watches the tape. How? Uh, probably on YouTube, I don't know, but she watches. 